Ministers and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to speak to you uh, on behalf of Norway about issues relating to plastic pollution, uh, environmental issues and uh, protection of our oceans. These are topics that are very close to Norway's heart and is also a key part of our international uh, policy. They are also very high on my agenda as State Secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and also um, the Norwegian representative and Prime Minister Erna Solberg's representative in the high-level panel on the sustainable ocean economy. Norway greatly values uh, our partnership and cooperation with ASEAN countries. The ASEAN countries are among the countries in the world that are most negatively affected by plastic pollution, but you have openly acknowledged uh, the challenges this entails, and that makes it all easier to work together to find solutions. And finding solutions is what Norway is striving to achieve. As current president of the UN Environmental Assembly, uh, the Norwegian Minister of Climate and Environment, Sven Gotevatten, stated at the Assembly's February session that it is imperative to get back on track to fulfill the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. I'm pleased to note that the uh, ASEAN Community Vision 2025 supports this goal, and um, Mr. Rotevatten also suggested that we should further discuss global actions to prevent plastic pollution, with a focus on a new global agreement. I will return to this, uh, but a few uh, basic points about plastic pollution. Preventing plastic pollution is one of Norway's uh, key international priorities. We have um, set up a, a development assistance program uh, to combat marine pollution and also uh, targeting waste management uh, on land. It's also a big part of our uh, engagement in our embassies, uh, ranging from um, local projects to clean up beaches to more bigger policy-oriented efforts like the Global Agreement on Plastics. Ocean plastic pollution poses a threat to marine life as well as all those who depend on the ocean for their livelihood. The threat extends also to life underwater, to fisheries, to other economic sectors and also to the beautiful coastlines and beaches of the ASEAN countries. Um, places that are important tourist destination, also for Norwegians. Uh, when we return to normal business as normal um, and there's more tourism again, uh, Norwegians will be flocking to uh, your country's beautiful beaches. We have seen, of course, the economic impacts of COVID-19, but there is also uh, an environmental impact, and especially related to plastics, we now see that uh, personal protective equipment is being discarded uh, and ending up uh, in nature. Um, so the environmental impact is something that we need to focus on as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Norway greatly val values our sectoral dialogue um, and partnership that we have with ASEAN. I'm very pleased that we just concluded our new five-year cooperation agreement, ocean affairs, maritime environmental protection, and a marine plastic litter are important elements in this agreement. Norway also uh, welcomes the recently initiated project with the ASEAN Centre on Sustainable Development Studies and Dialogue in Thailand. These are important issues that we will continue to work together on. In September, Norway and the Centre will co-host a plastic pollution cleanup event in all seven ASEAN countries where Norway have embassies. I invite you all to join this effort. Cooperation between Norway and ASEAN on plastic pollution has yielded results. We have high expectations for a regional ASEAN project and the cooperation we are supporting between the International Maritime Organization, the ASEAN Secretariat, the ASEAN Maritime Organization and ASEAN Maritime Transport uh, Working Group on Marine Environmental Protection. We also have a number of successful bilateral projects underway in various ASEAN countries. Ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, briefly revisit the topic on a global agreement to prevent plastic pollution. 
over two thirds of UN member states have publicly stated there is a need to explore the, uh, the feasibility of such an agreement. This is a good number. And it shows that there is interest globally to get, uh, uh, get uh, to step up uh, our fight against plastic pollution. The business, uh, business community too recognizes that there is a need uh, to do something. Uh, we have companies like Coca-Cola, uh, Unilever and Danone uh, sign, on in, sign on to the business call supporting a UN treaty on plastic pollution. Germany, Ghana and Ecuador have announced that they will host a ministerial conference on this issue. Norway supports these countries in their task here and uh, we encourage ASEAN countries to take part as well. Uh, if we do not get a broad regional outreach, then the signal and our work will be much harder. It will be difficult to get where we want. Um, and of course, next year, at the February 2022 session of PUNEA, member states will have to decide on whether to move a global agreement forward. Needless to say, Norway thinks that we need to move forward. Uh, and I urge you all to join this initiative. You can find more information about the global instrument of this type uh, if you look at the report that was released last year by the Nordic Council of uh, Environmental and Climate Minister. This Nordic report seeks to employ best practices from existing multilateral instruments and tailor them to address plastic pollution specifically. Advancing the development of a global agreement on marine um, litter is a key step in in improving global environmental uh, governance. And um, the participation of the ASEAN countries would definitely add further momentum to this initiative. The ocean spans the whole world. Um, we all need to work together in order to uh, get a cleaner, cleaner ocean uh, and a more healthy ocean. Uh, and without ocean health, there is no ocean wealth. So I really look forward to working together on this issue for, um, for the coming years. And Norway is very eager to partner up uh, with us. Thank you.